Hey guys, Aris, Hardware Busters International. Be quiet, celebrates its 20th year uh, with the FX products equipped with RGB lighting. Being able to stay uh, in this highly competing IT business for so long and build such a good name is not worthy. And kudos to Be Quiet for achieving this. When I have to review a product from this brand, Be Quiet, either the PSU, a cooler, uh, or a chassis, I always expect high quality, a good design, and above all, low noise output. Be Quiet was the first to set a low noise output among its top priorities. Now, the Pure Rock 2 FX is based on the plain Pure Rock 2 cooler, which is highly popular in budget builds. It's TDP thermal design uh, cooling efficiency remains at 150 watt and it has four 6 mm heat pipes which come in direct contact with the CPU's head spreader for optimal efficiency and performance. The significant changes are in the fan where the Pure Wings 2 has been replaced with a Light Wings high speed fan which also features HB lighting. At 53 euros or dollars or 47 pounds, the Pure Rock 2 FX remains a budget-friendly product, but the price increase over the plain Pure Rock 2 is notable at 16 euros or 45% more. Material, copper, heat pipes and base, and aluminum for the fins. Cooling fans, one uh, rifle bearing fan, light wings, uh, 120 mm diameter and 2500 RPM. Socket compatibility, uh, we see AMD's new M5 socket supported and uh, from Intel all popular sockets uh, including the 1700. Warranty, 3 years, pretty fetch too. Users that crave for high build quality and uh, silent RGB air cooler. In the box you will find mounting uh, hardware for all popular Intel and AMD sockets. AMD STR4 platforms are not supported. Uh, there's a backplate for Intel systems. For AMD ones you use the stock uh, backplate and two sets of clips for mounting an optional fan if you want higher performance. The black coating with the fans RGB lighting uh, look very nice. It is not easy to find a budget cooler with nice aesthetics. The four heat pipes are cooled down by a large number of fins. The top plate which uh, directs airflow through the fins has good build quality. The light wings fan offers increased performance over the plain Pure Rock 2 model and HP lighting which looks nice. The fan uh, uses a rifle bearing uh, that will easily outlive the provided uh, three year warranty. A fluid dynamic bearing will be better, but it will also increase the cost. The fan uses a BWM signal for speed control, which is ideal, allowing for more size control. The coolest weight is low and uh, its height is average. Most uh, chassis will accommodate it without any issues. Installation. I used an AMD mainboard to try out the Pure Rock 2 FX installation. The whole process is easy even for inexperienced uh, users. In AMD mainboards, you don't have to remove the backplate, you use the stock one. Uh, while in Intel uh, mainboards, you exchange the stock backplate with the provided one. On my AMD mainboard, I first removed the plastic brackets around the socket and installed the corresponding big white brackets. Don't forget to remove the protective cover from the cooler's block. If you don't do this, expect to see sky-high temperatures once you start the system. The cooler is secured in place by the mounting bridge, which is screwed uh, to the brackets on both sides. The last step is to mount the fan using the provided clips. If you want, you can mount a second fan, which you will have to patches uh, separately using the second set of uh, fan mounted clips that be quite through in the bundle. You can synchronize now the fans HB lighting with, you, with your main board if the latter supports it. You just need to connect the HB connector to the proper header of your main board and uh, once you do that the light wings fans uh, lighting will be controlled through your main board and synced with the rest of the HB parts that your system has. I have to note here that there is no way to adjust the fan's HB lighting manually, so you have to use a compatible mainboard, else you won't be able to utilize this feature. 
testing methodology, I use a fully automated custom made CPU cooler testing station. Uh, I can apply any load from 1 watt up to 500 watts and at the same time the fan speed can change automatically. Noise output, fan speed, uh, percentage and RPM. Even at full speed the fan doesn't reach 30 dBA. The output noise is low and similar to the noise of the plain Pure Rock 2 coolers fan although the latter spins at lower RPM. Thermal performance, full fan speed, comparison delta. I pushed uh, a lot the compact cooler and I find out that it offers a notable performance boost over the plain Pure Rock 2. The new, uh, stronger Lightwings fan makes a difference. Time to steady state, uh, the cooler needs a shorter time to reach a steady state than the Pure Rock 2. Relative performance at full fan speed, uh, the Pure Rock 2 FX achieves much higher relative performance over the plain Pure Rock 2. Still, the notably more affordable Deep Cool AK400 has a considerable performance lead. If you don't need AHB, the AK400 is a better bargain for your money. Performance per DBA at full fan speed, uh, this is where the FX cooler shines. Uh, against the competition, especially with a 500 watt load. Performance per dollar, uh, full fan speed. It is not that high, the performance per dollar. Uh, the new fan doesn't come cheap, increasing the overall cost and uh, not as high performance as I expected, especially once you compare it with a deep cool AK400, doesn't help much here. Bottom line, Be Quiet decided to release a special version of its budget-oriented Pure Rock 2 cooler. Uh, the Pure Rock 2 FX has a faster fan which offers better performance besides AHB lighting. The price difference between the FX and plain Pure Rock 2 models is notable at 16 euros, which translates to around a 45% increase. Meanwhile, uh, the product faces serious competition from the more affordable Deep Cool AK400 which currently is among the best choices in the sub 50 euro dollar price range. The Pure Rock 2 FX beats the AK400 in noise output, but most users won't notice the 1.8 dBA noise difference. It usually takes at least 3 dBA or more to perceive a notable difference in noise output. That said, the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 FX is among the quietest CPU coolers I have ever tested even at full fan speed and it is dead close uh, to the noise output of the plane model despite the faster fan it uses thanks to the optimized design of the fan uh, if you like the review thumbs up uh, please subscribe to our channel to help us grow larger we also have a discord server if you want to come in direct contact with us or with uh, other people that watch our channel we also have a Patreon page if you want to support us. Until the next review, bye bye.